Now we need a way of setting state. Now to do that, I'm gonna make a few changes here. This should really be a button. This is kind of taking the shape of a button. So let's change that now to be so. Now that has the nice appearance of a button. And let's make this actually show the current number of claps with a, uh, like a clap emoji. So that we know that if we hit it, we're gonna get some claps. That's starting to look right. And uh, all buttons should have a type. This one is a button, not a submit or anything like that. So now we have our button. That seems to be right. And it's displaying this current number of claps. Unfortunately, it's not updating because we're really just alerting the new button number. We're not setting it. To set state, we use a function called this set state. It's a magic function that we get by extending React component. And when we call it, we're gonna call it with the same shape of our component state. But we wanna update it. Now again, I'm hard coding this value, but just to show you this simple form of if I know the value that I want, I can just pass it in in a new object that just replaces this state. So there's a nice symmetry there. This is the object form of a call to set state. So we're calling set state with an object that gets merged with this object. Or in our case, is just gonna replace that zero with our hard-coded hard -coded one. So it goes from zero to one, but no further. This is great when you know the exact state that you need to replace this state, but it's not great when we want to update this from the previous state. We'll learn how to handle that next.